Hi folks, I hope you're keeping safe. Today we're going to learn to make three different kinds of bread from multi-grain flour. The puri, the layered paratha, the spicy paratha, and none of that need any vegetables. It also does not need any yeast or dairy. It's natural and it's from multi-grain. We're using multi-grain flour. You could also use wheat flour. Multi-grain comes with wheat, soya, chana, oat, we need some salt, we are using pink salt, we could use any salt. We also need a little bit of oil to mix it with the dough and water. So, I am kneading the dough now for my puri and paratha. The more you need, the softer the paratha and the puri will. It's important to knead the dough until it becomes really soft to the touch. I'm pouring a little bit of olive oil to knead the dough. This helps for the dough to become even more softer. It's really soft now after kneading about 10 to 15 minutes. Now it's ready for to make some puris. You may also want to lay it rest for about 30 minutes. It becomes even more softer. I'm now ready to make some puris. For me to roll the puris, I'm using some dusting, I'm using all purpose flour. I could use wheat flour instead. Make it really round. I've rolled a few of the puris which are ready to be fried. I make sure that it's the, the thickness is, is, a, is, a, is a little thick, you don't want it to be too thin. And it has to be perfectly round shape. Okay folks, we're done with puris. Now let's try to learn the how to make the layered parathas. Okay folks, now I have rolled the dough into a thin round shape. We need some oil. And I'm putting some all-purpose flour. I'm done smearing the oil even into the thin surface of the dough and this is an important step. I'm trying to twist or make it more layered. It comes around pretty easy. I'm going to stretch it on both sides. Just taking your own and make it the perfect circle. I think I'm done rolling. I don't want to roll too, too much. Make sure the iron skeleton is You could see those these layers coming along pretty well. Okay, folks, let's make a spicy, uh, easy paratha. I'm using some uh, 
Red paprika, cooking salt, and some cumin seeds. You've got to take some dough and you have to roll it into thin round shape. I took some olive oil and I smeared it all over. I took some cumin seeds, taking a pinch of paprika, red paprika powder and some pink salt and give that uniform mix. And then you can roll it into four layers. You keep rolling until it becomes medium thickness or not too thick, you want it a little thick on the thick side. Place the spicy easy paratha into the nine skillet. Bring a two, two drops of oil. I will fry it on this for about a minute each on each side. Okay, folks, I think it's done. We'll put it on the Ready to taste the paratas. I made two varieties: the plain one and then the one with the spice and salt and cumin seeds. I'm using some yogurt with some chaat masala mixed with that. I'm using some lime pickle. It goes well with the paratas. I'm going to try the plain paratha. I could taste that masala and then the spice. Perfect. Now let's try the spicy paratha. I'm going to dip it, dip it to the yogurt. It goes well with the yogurt. I don't want to use the pickle because it's already spiced up. 